Today I will discuss the application of virtual numbers. You may already be familiar with the Taylor series, but today we'll explore how to derive the virtual Taylor series. If you're unfamiliar with virtual numbers, please check the video description for an introductory explanation. To begin, let's consider the concept of a virtual power series. This series represents a function as a sum of terms involving constants and powers of the variable. But in this case, it incorporates the virtual number j. The unique properties of j redefine how these terms are expressed and calculated. Once the series is written, the next step involves calculating the derivatives of the function. The first derivative provides the coefficient of the linear term, while the second derivative relates to the coefficient of the quadratic term scaled by a factor of two. This process extends to higher derivatives, with each incorporating the corresponding power and constant coefficient, following a clear mathematical pattern. To derive the virtual Taylor series, we center it around the virtual number j. In the virtual number system, j is a special unit with the property that adding j to itself results in zero. This is derived from j being defined as the logarithm of negative one. By substituting j into the original function and its derivatives, we construct the series. For instance, substituting j into the function provides the first constant term of the series. When j is substituted into the first derivative, it determines the coefficient of the linear term. For the second derivative, substituting j yields the coefficient of the quadratic term multiplied by two. This systematic approach continues for higher derivatives, allowing the function to be rewritten as a series of terms, each influenced by the virtual number j. To illustrate, consider the function e raised to the power of x. This function is unique because all its derivatives are identical to the original function. When we substitute j into each derivative, we observe that every term in the series involves the exponential of j. In the virtual number system, the exponential of j simplifies to negative one. Using this property, the virtual Taylor series for e raised to the power of x can be fully constructed. Additionally, let's briefly discuss the virtual graph. A distinctive feature of the virtual number system is the absence of negative quadrants on the graph. This characteristic sets it apart from traditional Cartesian graphs and adds a novel perspective to visualizing mathematical relationships. Finally, if Euler's identity holds within the virtual number system, it creates a unique and fascinating relationship involving J and other mathematical constants. This could lead to new insights and applications in various areas of mathematics and science. I hope this exploration of the virtual Taylor series has been insightful. Please share your thoughts, questions, and suggestions in the comments. I'd love to hear about the potential applications and usefulness of this concept. 